Uh, hi everyone, this is Will, the beer champion, and uh, day 14 of 24, still doing these um, for uh, pairings that go with advent calendar chocolates. Fascinating, the chocolate. It's come so far in so many years, it's been so entrenched in human history, from things that deal with royalty, to things that deal with the, uh, us commoners. And now it's just such a simple and approachable thing that people all over the world enjoy. From the cheap and mundane to the aristocratic sophisticates of the world. It is um, a food source that uh, darn near everyone around the planet knows now. Except for puppies. Don't, don't be shocked at the puppies. Today, I'm pairing it, as the beer champion I am, with this, uh, the classic Guinness Draft. Drought. Spelled like Strout. You know, it, somehow in English, these two words rhyme. Drought and Stout. <laughs> but they shouldn't. <laughs> mm, the poems and tales that have been told about this beer over the years. Uh, my favorite. So this beer, um, the Guinness Stout, which sells some uh, 850 million liters, and you can convert that. Uh, with, that, your, with your Google, if you like. Pours a nice thick uh, tan head. Nice dark body. Comes in at 4.2% alcohol. Or maybe that's what, what he meant when he said 42 was the answer to life, universe, and everything. This was it. This was the answer. What the question was. Uh, who knows? Ah, uh, the stout. The stout beer, um, it used to mean before about the 1900s, just a big, full, flavorful beer until eventually it, um, using Ireland's slightly acidic water supply, uh, would make a beer that uh, had a little bit of uh, roast, sort of like coffee, but not quite as much as coffee uh, that we enjoy today with just a little touch of acidity in it. As though you were just glancing at a lemon slice from around the room and you were like, ah, hey, how's it going? <laughs> it goes really well with this particular milk chocolate um, because milk chocolate is not, in, uh, uh, it's, it's not very dense, you know. It comes from an advent calendar, so a lot of the milk chocolate that you're going to get will work very well with this particular beer. Hmm. Arthur Guinness, the founder of the thing, back in 1759, hmm. would probably not have had anything quite as rich as this particular milk chocolate, which is kind of on the Hershey's level. But he probably would have had uh, something about as creamy. And it's really the creaminess and the intensity of this beer, which is, uh, the creaminess is, is fairly high because they always uh, keep that big frothy head on there. But the intensity, um, how much it's going to, to sort of shock your system, it's, it's pretty low. So it's very approachable beer. Some people are like, oh, I don't like dark beers. But they'll probably like Guinness because it's um, very smooth and refreshing. I, I served this one at about the temperature that they might serve it at in uh, Ireland and sort of cast temperature, which is in the like mid 50 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. If you drink this beer in um, like American bar cooler temperatures in like chilled glass in the high 30s, it's going to taste very different if you drink it. Uh, where I drink it at uh, warmer temperatures, it's 
going to taste different. It's, it's a lovely beer because you can taste it differently at many different temperatures. Um, and I highly recommend doing just that. Yeah. This is the Guinness Draft. Uh, I'll probably get an, a Guinness Export in here uh, before the end of the month because it also pairs well and uh, has a wonderfully different characteristics. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you today. Um, Guinness Draft and some milk chocolate for the Advent season. If you have better pairings, just uh, let me know in the comments below for either or. And uh, until then, you have a lovely evening. Cheers.